everyone and welcome back to a new video uh, I think it's been some time since I used this uh, lotus mold and today I'm gonna use it again also I'm using an old plastic cup since I don't have any more clean ones I'm waiting for my delivery from Temu <laughs> to bring me uh, these cups and yes i used the dirty one <laughs> but the resin it's cured already so i'm just gonna pour it as always i had something else in my mind and i just changed my mind like two minutes ago <laughs> And look, I have so much of this resin left. That's why I'm going to move a little bit faster. So that I can use it maybe in something else. I thought that I saw a flame here. Maybe I burned the mold. I'm not sure. <laughs> I should buy that alcohol. And I think if I spray it once the bubbles will disappear I'm going to prepare now some white pigment paste and the other paste I'm going to make it from this uh, mica powder from May Spring Royal Gold I just hope it's not gonna spread everywhere on the table and let's add some resin first. I don't need much. I'm just going to create some petals with this too. And maybe I'll add some gold flakes as well. I will see. Ah, and I still have some resin left. Look at this powder. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. And it's like, this is such a big jar. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of this. Maybe my grand grandkids <laughs> will get to use it as well. Because it feels like uh, we'll never finish. Also, I'm not using it much. I don't like much to use the mica powders, but this one is really nice. And now I'm just gonna prepare the white one. Ah, I already dropped some uh, mica powder. I don't know where it came from. Maybe from the glove. I'll just take it out like this. Uh, yes. And now I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, gold flakes, also this one, it will never finish. <laughs> and I have on three colors, but it's good because this will never go bad, so it will never expire. I think I added quite a lot. Let's see, maybe I'll remove some or I'll leave it like this. And what I'm gonna do now, I will pour the um, half of this white here. And now, on top of it, I will pour this uh, mixture of mica powder, half. And now, again, I will pour the whole white. <laughs> Let's see if I can create some petals like this. And the rest of this. But now, of course, I have to pour it into a piping bag and now I'm thinking I shouldn't have add gold because the mica powder is gold <laughs> but let's see so 
so this is it it looks um, like caramel it reminds me of that ice cream from mcdonald's the one with the caramel on top it's like the same color and um, this mixture is now um, be sitting for 20 minutes in total because when i started doing this it was almost 15 minutes so now it should be 20 minutes and uh, i was thinking if i should add another color like an uh, alcohol ink or something because i have here golden golden and i don't know it feels like it's gonna be boring so uh, i'm thinking now what should i add no because if i add i wanted to add purple but it's gonna be dark you will not see this i don't know if i should add a drop of this pink peach color uh, i think it's gonna work no let's see maybe just one drop here in the center I just want to see how much is going to spread. Of course, it spreads a lot. Yeah. And I cut the piping bag, but I'm afraid that only this gold is going to come out of it. Yes. So first I'm going to spread it here on this paper. Mm, there's nothing special oh now it's coming with white <laughs> so i'm just gonna do that classic swirl oh i like this color I think I'm gonna go to McDonald's after this, have one ice cream. Wow. I don't know, just creating some waves. I think it's enough. And of course I have a lot left. Where is my brush? Oops. Uh, and, well, I'm sure this is not gonna be seen because of these flakes. I added so many flakes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna create petals. Just like this. Now I regret the fact that I added pink here in the center. I could have leave it like this. I hope it's gonna shrink. And if it shrinks, maybe I will add red. The second layer. So it's gonna be like um, another Christmas decoration. Because I just did those Easter those um, Easter coasters. <laughs> now I'm doing something for Christmas. Okay. It actually looks interesting with this pink. No? Now I'm not sure if I should cut this one more time. Or if I should go like this. How should I go? No. I'll start from the center. Yes. And spread all these petals. It already starts blooming. Yes. 
much better. It just looks like it's a little bit of a mess here in the center. I don't know, I really have a problem with these gold flakes. It's like actually I can see the white pigment paste. Oops. And this uh, combined with this mica powder, it looks like it's shining. Yeah, I don't know what is that. <laughs> yes, just like this, I will let it cure. Just clean up this mess. And maybe I'll make a time lapse video so that we can see the process. And I have to decide what I'm going to do with this resin now. Now, you know what? I decided I'm going to add it here in this mold. I'm just going to clean this table first. So, in this mold, I don't know if you guys can see it, I will add this clear resin, <laughs> let's see if it's enough, yeah it's gonna be a very thin layer, and also this one has different temperature than the first one. Wow, I should have uh, chosen a smaller one. Because now it's really a thin layer. And it, it's so thick. It doesn't feel warm, but I feel like it's very thick. Anyway, I'll push it like this. To go everywhere bubbles big big bubbles ah! and yes let's use the rest of this um, pigment paste I will just go around no I will use the torch <laughs> just a little bit yeah. and now I'll just go around let's see if it still has nice color yes just around the mold like filling a cake oops something like this I'm trying actually to squeeze in all this paste. And maybe I should have added this first and after <laughs> the clear resin. But we will see, maybe it's gonna look nice, no? Actually, I don't know if something is going to happen, something nice.
Done. I added all of it and I will still add this golden uh, flakes. <laughs> the one that I like it so much. see if something is gonna happen but look at the other one it's so beautiful I just wish that pink would disappear from there so that I can add my red color in piece yeah this one just I'm gonna leave it like this I don't know if there is still time for the time-lapse video I will still do it so now it's time and I have been thinking for so long if I should add the second layer or not but I really like these petals like this and I think it's gonna look amazing with this clear background See, it's like so shiny so I think it's better to keep it like this than to add another layer let's see wow this is perfect <gasps> this is so beautiful it's almost perfect no it is perfect not almost perfect look at these 3d petals wow and it's shining and these gold flakes it looks amazing here in the center and i think i did good to don't um, add the second layer wow this one is so beautiful and also this pink color it's um i like the way it actually it's uh, lighter on this side it didn't stay darker like this one and I like this reflection of the mica powder the golden and yes I don't know I like it so much it looks perfect also let's see the other one that I created so this one shrink like this to the center I don't know if it's gonna be something on the other side because I didn't add uh, any alcohol ink but still let's see ah oh. <laughs> yes this is just like a simple flower you can still see some petals like I didn't do anything it actually has this um, reflection of the mica powder it's like a chameleon coaster when you move it you can see the golden yeah I really like this one as well but this one now it's my favorite also because this mold is my favorite <laughs> so this is it guys thank you so much for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time bye